Hi Capricorn, I'm Jennifer. This is going to be a reading for May. I'm going to light up a candle for you and clear the energy. And we'll find out what messages spirits have for you coming in for May. Okay. Let's just shuffle the cards three times. Spirits, what's happening with Capricorn? Okay. I'm hearing two more times, Capricorn. What's happening with Capricorn spirits? Okay, so we have strength, Leo energy, judgment, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Ten of Pentacles. The center card of your reading is the Five of Wands. What's happening with Capricorn? We're going to go back and clarify the cards and we'll figure out what's going on Capricorn. We have the Four of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. The Sun, Leo energy, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so let's see what's requiring strength. Something's requiring strength here. We have the King of Pentacles, the Alchemist, and the Three of Cups. I'm seeing a celebration here. There's something that you're trying to manifest, Capricorn. You could be opening up your own business. You've been through a lot in the past, and um, there's a there's a celebration here that's going to take place, like a small victory I see right here. But there's a judgment call. You need to make a decision. The Three of Cups can be a reconciliation, so this could be a reconciliation with someone. Why is judgment here? Okay, we have the Chariot. This is Cancer energy. The Lovers, Gemini, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a decision. There's a choice that you need to make. Because I see someone here that you have a lot of love for. This person has a lot of love for you also. You're showing up as the Lovers. But, yeah, this is, these people are coming out of coffins. This is about raising this connection from the dead. Something that's over. A decision. A choice. 
because I'm seeing someone taking control and coming towards you. Why is the Hierophant here? The moon. You could be dealing with any sign. The devil. That's your Capricorn energy right there. And justice. Libra energy. Why is justice here? This Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing you getting some type of a reward. This could be a legal matter going in your favor. A materialistic something. Um, this could be money. It's something something big. Some type of um, new beginning here that shows up as materialistic. Material gain. There's an energy here of something that you don't see coming, though. <coughs> Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? There's something that you just don't see coming. The Six of Cups. The Fool. Aries energy. And the Ten of Wands. There's someone here from your past that is thinking about you a lot. And um, this could be a blended family. There could be children here. But this person has really been struggling they're getting ready to put down a lot of burdens that are that show up as heavy weight that they can't carry any longer they're just determined to make it a little bit further here they're not putting these down yet but i see them putting them down soon and taking a leap of faith in your direction and they're not sure what's going to happen when they get there but they keep thinking about you this is someone that i feel like this person is like obsessed with you okay why is the five of wands here the Five of Wands is sitting in the center of your reading. So there's something that you could do when it comes to work that is very competitive. Okay, I'm seeing a soul connection here with this person. This person could be a Virgo. They know that, um, they know there's... It's not only a soul connection. This is a twin flame soul mate connection. This person that's coming towards you making a judgment call. Just unable to release you. This is someone who's done a lot of inner work. They're showing up as the hermit. So you have little to no communication with them. They've done a lot of inner work and... like this person could be in the public eye they could get some type of recognition here with the six of wands the two of cups there's a lot of love here between the two of you but there's also a lot of conflict here a lot of conflict which could involve other people. There could be petty arguments. 
Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. This, this energy is a strong energy that's coming towards you. This could be a you know, like a father figure. This is someone that is looked up to. This person wants a reconciliation with you. I can see that. They, they cannot stop thinking about you. It's like, this is someone who's willing to fight for this connection. And I see communication coming in communication and truth and I also see something very successful happening here in your energy it's like a brand new beginning taking place something that you're not seeing yet and then we have the princess of pentacles so this is that message I'm seeing why is the princess of pentacles here what is this message See, Princess of Wands. It's a very passionate message. This is someone who feels left out in the cold. Someone where there could be a block in communication here. But this person's coming out of the cold. They want this, this Ace of Wands with you, this brand new passionate beginning. It's someone who's very attracted to you. See messages here. And it's like literally coming out of a block in communication. Whatever these messages are, there could be a baby here in the energy. Um, but whatever these messages are that you'll be receiving do make you very happy and they're very enlightening to you so it's like um something something huge being revealed to you why is the sun here this is the happiest energy in tarot okay see it's coming from this emperor Whoever this emperor is, this is someone in control. This is the father of the tarot. This could be a boss. This is someone very strong, independent, confident, single. They're perfectly fine on their own. But there's a determination in this person. This is someone who's showing up as the king of wands so this is someone who doesn't like to take no for an answer they go after what they want and i see this connection coming together with the ace of cups this is a brand new beginning in love why is the ace of cups here a wish fulfillment nine of cups The High Priestess. This could be a Pisces. The Queen of Wands. I feel like this High Priestess is the Queen of Wands. But there's no gender in tarot, so take this how it resonates. But there's definitely someone coming towards you with a lot of passion and a chapter coming to an end, a brand new beginning in love. Like a, a happy ending here.
Okay, so let's see what this person wants to say to you, Capricorn. See what the message is from this person. What is this message, spirits? I am different now. In that moment, I didn't care. I know that I crossed the line with you. And I lied to you. And on the bottom of the deck, I wish things could be different. Okay, and then let me get some advice for you, Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. It, it is safe to let go. You are surrounded by love. Feel and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have time to move on. Flow with the river. See where it takes you. Okay, Capricorn. So these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And um, I love you guys. And I will see you later. Namaste.